Hey guys, I wanted to address this tweet from Brian Quintes. I'm sorry if I've butchered that name. He's a member of the CFTC, which is the Commodities and Futures Trade Commission. I presume that's what it stands for. But they basically monitor commodities and futures, hence the name, and a commodity is something like gold or oil. They're the same sort of jurisdictional level as the SEC, as far as I'm aware, but the SEC obviously regulates securities and exchanges, hence the Security and Exchange Commission, as securities like a stock or a share, etc., and the people who sell those. And Brian Quintes has come out guns blazing today and said, just so we're clear here, the SEC has no authority over pure commodities or their trading venues, whether those commodities are wheat, gold, oil, or crypto assets. First off, I want to say that's absolute shots fired. But second off, don't think this is weird timing as Gary Gensler has now just got Twitter. What are they going to do? Have it out on Twitter. Go on, Gary. Come on, Brian. What you got, son? Da, da, da. But as all good social media attorneys do, they come and fight the battle as well. Mr. Quinn says, I understand the commission sometimes submits amicus curiae briefs. Is that right? Curiae? Curiae? I'm going to go for curiae. Curiae briefs to the courts to assist in interpretation of the law. Has the CFTC made a decision at to whether, I think you mean as to whether, to file the amicus in the SEC versus Ripple litigation? And someone says, what is an amicus, whatever that word is, in English, my Latin is a little rusty, as is mine, as you can probably tell. An amicus brief is submitted by an entity not in the litigation, a third party, which has an interest in the case. The CFTC has an interest in Ripple lawsuit because if it believes that XRP is a commodity, it could file a brief stating why XRP is a commodity and not a security. So could there be a further twist in the tail here? And then John at Burn Tens 88 jumped in and said, can Ripple request them to file one? And Jeremy Hogan replied, I don't see why not informally. Let me know what you guys think, guys. Is there going to be a royal rumble of Gary Gensler and Brian Quintez that we can watch? I'll probably be on Gensler's side seeing him today getting interviewed for. He's an angry guy. Um, but yeah, what, let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. Drop a follow if you don't already. And peace up, A-Town, down until the next one.